Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Hard Spaceship Breaker. We're gonna let's check out our equipment. We should be uh, off the leash a little bit, tutorial-wise, on this episode. Um, I think we knocked over the the general basics, and it'll drip feed us a little bit more information as we go. Might a uh, scanner? Can I? Yes. Okay. This is uh, as I said. I played a little bit of this before uh, the channel. Now, upgrading this scanner, what's this? Systems, range, okay, cool. Oh, wow. But uh, this will help us see some some better things, which will be good. Uh, I've got 150 dollar dues left. So what can we get here? Range on the stinger. Uh, that could come in uh, a little bit handy, actually. Now that I am realizing that I can't just be belligerent with the bloody, the dead space gun. I have to use the little, the hole poker a little bit more, and I think that's what the stinger is. I think? I don't know. Let's go. Continue salvage or view ship catalogue. It's making me join the catalogue. Okay, so here we go. Here's our tier one training ship. And look, these ones look, oh, look at this. There's a couple of little different. So according to this, they're both mackerels, just fitted for cargo or for transport. Oh, there's windows in the transport one. Oh, that's cool. And they've got slightly different uh, engines. Oh, that's so cool. And it probably changes the value. All the relative value seems to be about the same. This one is four and a half million total value, apparently. Look at that total mass, though. Oh, no, it's not a huge difference. Okay, let's try this. The Big Ambler from Klein Co. Um, we don't have the next tier. We have to do our certification, so we'll hurry up with that. But yeah, I haven't seen one of these, these bloody transport ones. It's got a, what's that, class one reactor. And a power cell, which is sort of like, I guess like a battery, I suppose. Um, and with our new scanner, we'll be able to see it. Claiming a new ship will clear the salvage bay. All remaining salvage will be forfeit to links. Begin salvage. Okay, sure. Yeah, so like, in the tooltips they've hinted that finishing a ship in its entirety could reward you in some way. I don't know what to make of that. Oh, now I've only got 10 tethers. Hang on. We need to fix this. This seems to be a bug built into this. Um, there's something wrong with the inversion since I reset the game. All right, we go controls. Invert says enabled, but it's not actually inverted. All right, so we're going to save, and then we're actually going to invert and save. Yep, and that's fixed it. I mean, look, it's early access. Basic troubleshooting fix the, the bug. Look at that, how you can see in the window. So here's the new scanner. Thanks. Data drive. Now, like I said, Resource. So green's general, yellow's component. Now this is the power cell here. I recognize it. So it's in behind that aluminium wall that we were talking about. You can't see it on this scanner, but you can see it on this one. How cool is that, right? Now, that data pad's pink. And those lights are pink as well. Sort of makes me think that maybe the pink things are are more valuable, perhaps. Hmm, it's interesting stuff. We'll figure it out. Plus, we've got our certification checklist in the top right as well. Pressure levels dropping. Getting the reactor and the power cell are up there, so that's not a big deal. We can do that. So, as as before. Tell me about this data pad. I want to know. There it is. Can I interact with it or 
Collect data drive. Audio data found. Listen. D-pad down. Falling asleep on the job salvager. That's a great way to lose a lemon or life. Due to binding legal agreements made with the Orbital Safe Workers Union, Lynx cannot encourage the use of illegal narcotics. However, research has shown that when used in moderation, recreational stimulants and micro doses of hallucinogenics can provide salvagers with significant gains in both performance and Oh, healing. wow. O2 canisters. The Lynx Board of Directors recently voted unanimously to eliminate any and all drug tests for salvage division employees because we at Lynx believe the privacy of our employees is paramount. Lynx. Making the world a better place. Oh, jeez. Wait, did I just pull the bloody reactor out? Please don't have pulled the reactor out. Oh my god, this lag while the game sort of gets started is a bit frustrating. Alright, I didn't pull the reactor out, so that's good news. Same story. We've done this dance before, team. Wow, we're getting a little bit of lag. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I forgot to depressurize the ship. Oh man, the game doesn't like this. Wow, hang on, the game, I've bricked the game? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what do you reckon? Maybe we call it a day. Holy shit. Deposit accepted. Oh, okay, things are accidentally depositing. That's nice. Take the engine. No, 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 no. I wonder if it'll accept that engine even though I haven't cut that panel off the side of it. Oh my god. That lag was something else. Come on. Salvage deposit accepted. Well, transferred. That counts for something, I guess. Oh my god, what have I done? Like, we're here for a shift anyway, so I might as well make the most of it. Jesus Christ, I'm so lucky I didn't bloody die. Alright, there's an engine there. Salvage class, class run reactor. I get a feeling that reactor doesn't exist anymore. I'm no expert, but... Alright, the tail end of this is still intact. Yeah, look, it's running a lot smoother now. I think there's a boot component to this game. Like, you just really gotta let it load a lot of the assets in. And here I am deciding to bloody detonate the entire thing immediately as soon as I get into the game, so... Oh, for Christ's sake, no. Such a waste of tethers. Alright. Hey, look, that's one way to crack it open. Oh! <gasps> Wait, is that the fucking reactor? No. No. 
The reactor's intact! Salvage secured. Credits deposited. It wasn't the reactor that detonated. Oh god, I got all this bloody shrapnel and shit to push it through. I'm not gonna launch it, I'm just gonna drive it. Let's go. Stop electrocuting things, please. Stop that. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah, good. Dude! This worked out well. Oh, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Oh man, the hitching. What is going on? Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Have oxygen level stabilizing. There's not much left of this ship, eh? Oh, you silly bloody sausage. Oh, what else do we need? Nanocarbon and metal. Oh, okay. Caution. Tether supplies running low. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Man, you know what? I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely against detonating these ships if you can find your way out and not die. Oops. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Yeah, this big boy. This is the answer in here. He's got some structural titanium in there. That's exciting, but not really that helpful. This here. What is going on there? How do, how do I get into that? Is that like the engine? It looks like it's pretty, pretty bloody tight in there, doesn't it? Can I pull you out? Oh, I can. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, man. How do you feel about going over there? Oh, it's moving. Where do you want me to put this? Salvage secured. Look, at the very least, I'm going to make some money out of this. Did that thing that I tether make it all the way across there? Sort of. There it is. Just got it then. In you go, big fella. That should be worth something.
Let's see how much of this we can drag across, eh? Yeah, buddy, get going. Might go buy some tethers. Dude, that slowdown was pretty nuts, but I don't mind. Like, I like what they're trying to do. Two minutes. Salvage metal. Um, look, I know it's probably going to crack the sands if I do this, but what if I put that in the furnace? Oops. What a waste of tethers. Too. Come on, deposit in, deposit in. Is that going to give me enough salvage metal? Hey, perfect. All right. Now the trick is making it back without suffocating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Look at that. Oh, look at that. 1.2 million. A lot of destroyed things. A lot of salvage things. Hey, hey, hey. We, we uh, managed to salvage that operation. Pulled that out of the bloody fire. Look at that. Look at me turning a profit. Uh, 133. Is that enough for upgrades? No, I need 150, I think. Okay, that's fine. Let's get another shift in, hey? We can do that. No, no, we need a new ship. We definitely need a new ship. Um, what we got here? I didn't really get to have a good look at the cargo ship. The, the par passenger ship. I want to have a look at it. All right, so to cover it, I went in, but I forgot to depressurize the ship. So like, I didn't even pull a bloody hull off the side. I busted the hull from the inside. I managed to somehow get ejected at fucking pace right, and sir. live. This here's another macro. Just a little history lesson for you. Oh, okay. Using the whole buffalo. Wait, is this just the exact same work order? Seems like it, doesn't it? That's alright, we can get that done. We got it done last time. Alright, let's uh let's let's try not to forget. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Oh, it seems to be running a bit a bit smoother this time. Alright, it should be simple as depressurizing it now. Air pressure level decreasing. Well alright, alright. Anything particularly sexy around here? What is this? A data drive. Corrupted device transmitted to HAB. Okay. I get the feeling that these pink uh, items are pretty bloody good to salvage. 
Oh. Collect? Oh. Hang on, is it a mid kit? I mean processed. Like it's not like I'm using it. Okay, that's cool, but I can't I could in fact use these things. Which is really cool. Okay. Let's try all this again, shall we? Alright, let's get the reactor out. We've unpressurized everything, so that's good. Oh, okay, that pulls the door off. That's fine. That's what we did last time by accident. Alright. We good? Okay. Perfect. And where's that power cell? There it is. You can see it. Right there. Wait, I wouldn't have salvaged the power cell last time, so maybe that's what happened with the work order. Alright, now how badly- well, I gotta get inside the siding, and I don't think there's another way in, really. Structurally a little bit different. I think that severs the front and back compartments actually. cut the ship in half. Maybe not. We'll get to the bottom of that eventually, but I was more interested in clearing this wall space here. Yeah, everything seems pretty clean here, so we should be good to go. This is the first instance of lag I've really gotten in this game, just so as you know. I played it quite a bit, and in the first episode we didn't have anything as well, so I might investigate, you know, it, like, it, I'd be the first to uh, concede it could be my system, you know. I don't know. We'll have to confirm on the next one.
Now, this thing is like a mini reactor. Oh no. There it is there, attached to the back of the wall. So you see how we're in the sort of siding inside the, uh, the system, so... From what I understand... Wait, why have I lost audio? Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Well, this game's certainly struggling, isn't it? I'm going for O2. So that's how you start tearing off the side structures of this, the walls. You have to get inside the sort of panelling, the aluminium panelling. Yeah, we'll investigate the performance issues because uh, it actually seems, for the time I played and the first episode, it seems kind of unusual. But um, but that's all right. Not the end of the world. I'll be definitely playing more of this anyway, so we'll be able to confirm on the next episode. You know, if uh, if maybe I, who knows, man. You know, sometimes your system can have critical bloody brain farts and interfere with things. Sorry about that, team. Not ideal. Or it could be, or it could be the game. The game, like, it's doing a lot of ambitious stuff. It could be memory leaking. I don't want to make excuses for it. All right. So getting that siding off as a whole is a bit of a task. Um, but we still need to salvage stuff as well. Jesus, and the coolant as well. Okay. That's all right. We can do this. Let's just start. Let's just go around the bloody coolant, shall we? Sorry, team. Alright, so as I understand... Structurally, this front part should now kind of be loose. Like it was getting it was getting squeezed between the two sides. So we could maybe give it a push. Have I misunderstood? Well, here we go. Chink in the armor. There we go. Perfect. All right, Cutter, you got five minutes left of this shift before they turn the lights out on you. It'll batter. We've How cool is that, right? All right, let's get the ship's coolant out. That'll be worth a pretty penny. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Wants us to salvage metal. Oh shit. That's it flammable, that thing behind this. Fuel tank. Oh whoops, strong button. Yeah, surely you're totally unbuckled here. Let's go. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, you know what? It's the engines holding it on, I think.
Maybe I'm missing something. Floor, floor might be holding it on. It's possible. Oh no! Look, look at that. It's it is starting to peel away. It's just very heavy, I think. How good's that? Oh, valuable things got destroyed because I put that whole thing in the cell in the metal salvage area. I think a minute 40. Can we salvage all that metal in the meantime? Maybe. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. It's worth it. What we want is salvageable metal. How much does one panel give me there? Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Alright, meanwhile, there's like no aluminium in this siding sort of component. So I can understand why they were probably a little cross with me. Look at that though. What is this? Keys or something? That doesn't seem to have any more connections on it, so... Oh, my shift's about to end. And see all this siding here. I don't know if I can tear it straight off. I don't think so. Maybe not. Oh. Yeah, okay. I destroyed the nanocarbon panels and that. Yeah, because I thought they might be have some aluminium in there and it was worth just rolling the dice. Probably not the best. Best move there. So it goes. Oh, there you go. We barely turned a bit of a profit. Cool. All right, team. Sorry about the performance issues. I will investigate. I'll investigate. So by next episode, we should have a bit of an idea of whether it was on my end or whether it's the game because it had some significant bloody drops there. And I'm not going to lie. As much as I love this game, it definitely hitched a little bit. Uh, I almost feel like that explosion might have caused a bit of a memory leak. And after that, we were sort of struggling a little bit afterwards. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with a bit of a reset. And, you know, I'll, I'll fiddle with all my knobs on this end as well. And we'll see what we can come out with on the other side. Hopefully, there was just an isolated memory leak. And, you know, maybe we never see it again. But I guess we'll find out. Team, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being. And I will catch you guys on the next one.